Hey guys, you know who we are, and we're playing Breath of the Wild still. I think we're gonna make our way to Hiteno downtown. Village. We're making our way downtown. Okay, I'm not singing that song anymore. <laughs> we, we sing that stupid song too much, unironically now. Yeah. So I think, like, uh, right after this one, what I'm gonna do is go trade in those orbs. To increase your stamina or health? Yeah. Health. I've already increased my stamina once. Oh, okay. You can actually run people over, I think, with the horse. And yeah. I'm trying to avoid that. Did it. But, um... Let the hatred I did you. accidentally knock a guy over once, and I felt incredibly bad. Let the hatred consume you. Did it. I mean, I am wearing a hood now. Did it. And I can prove that you have the high ground. I kind of like that the minimap shows me where the road is. That's very... Convenient. Yeah, it's a very a very handy feature. Actually. Where are you going, butternut? Stay on the road. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, so I am gonna skip around in this video and, and just show the highlights of, of me traveling like I have been doing or have been attempting to do. So yeah. Let's see you at the village. So I do not like how many guardians there are uh, around here. Period. Who are you? Can I touch your boobs? This area is once the site of an ancient battle. Unlike other well-known ruins, I don't think imagining what took place here would be very satisfying. The reason I say that is because none of the old stories about Calamity... About the Great Calamity mention it being entirely defeated. Well, no shit, it's not defeated. Yeah, like, we're still pretty fucked. Yeah, like, that's the whole point of us in this game. Like, hey, we're here to defeat this thing. Fine, I'll check out the fucking angle. Okay. You doing, bro? Get, get the mangles. Hiya, my name is Geralt. Come to see Fort Tateno, I take it? That's right. Figured as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Hiteno <laughs> here was the last line of defense between Hiteno Village and the awful tragedy all, the, tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come pay their respects at least once in life, right? That was a waste of time. <laughs> Onward! Oh snap, it's a merchant. I got so shit. What the... Did you get what the fuck is that? Get back here, you coward! Choo -choo I need to sell jelly. shit. What the fuck is choo choo? Okay, whatever. That's good. Did I just. You just hit a fucking bird. You killed a bird with your horse. <laughs> whatever, dude, free meat! Did hey, I... whoa, 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 stop it, butternut! Did that thing just, just instantly cook it? No, never mind, it's just raw. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Good job, Butternut. So proud of you. That's a badass horse. Right? I love my horse. I'm so glad I named him Butternut. I am going to attempt to... Could you not scale the mountain, Butternut? That's my job. <laughs> fucking, fucking Butter... Butternut. Oh god, there are people that have already beat this game to 100% completion. And they're trying to figure out the storyline placement. Yeah, well, some people have jobs, so... <laughs> right. Some people don't still live with their mother, so... Oh. Some people earn their own money and pay their own bills, so... Oh, damn. So I'm just saying, of course, some people have already beaten the game. <laughs> to 100% completion. You know... Oh, shit. But I'm just saying, some people, you know, have work. <laughs> and responsibilities. And jobs. <laughs> right. You know, some people actually sleep. Some people cook their own food. I was gonna say, the game only been out for like, what, three days? To be fair, it only took me three days to beat Twilight Princess 100 complete. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah. 100% completion, but that was a way smaller game. But you were way younger, too. Yeah, and I didn't have a job. And responsibilities. You had and school. bills to pay. You had school and ban. That was it. That was it. Ban practice, come home, play Zelda. 
Duh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe no, I can make it. You fucked up. No, I believe. I don't. I believe. I don't. I believe. Okay, I'm starting not to believe. <laughs> You're so close. Come on, You're come so on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, oh, shit. Way to go, Link. Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot believe. <laughs> You're, you're gonna have to get to that ledge and stop again. Just I, to make it all the way up. I totally am going to. You're gonna have to. Because you're not gonna be able to make it all the way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I had like... Nothing. I had like a splinter of, of stamina left. Uh, speaking of splinters, those thorns look really mean. Yeah? So I'm just going to take my time. I wish I could zoom in. Yeah, those things would wreck your little ass. You probably should have stopped at that ledge right there below you. Probably. I did not Ooh. even. Mm, you should not have done that. That is death. Uh, I was trying to hit X. Hmm. It happens. Fuck! Yeah. It's a learning experience. Please let me be up at the tower. Please let me be at the tower and not at the bottom of the mountain. Please let me be at the tower and not the bottom of the fucking mountain. Um, what is the CT please, timeline? Please, what? What's the CT timeline? It says CT. CT? The AT and CT. You're supposed to be huge. Child and adult. Child timeline? That yeah. makes sense. There's okay. the uh, child link timeline, the adult link timeline, and then the fallen hero timeline. Which is where he dies. Yeah, and fails to defeat Ganon. And, uh... Yeah, which is where he fails to defeat Ganon and Ocarina of Time, and then those four games after that is explaining mm -hmm. all that, yeah. Okay. See, I kind of understand the timelines, I just don't know their correlation to each other. I know that Ocarina of Time is the main uh, sp uh, split in the road between all of them. <sighs> See, there's one theory on here that makes no sense, is saying that this game comes directly after Ocarina of Time. Which makes no sense. Yeah, it really doesn't because they weren't as advanced in Ocarina of Time. And this is this is some pretty mind-blowing shit. Yeah, this is some borderline Matrix shit. I'm thinking that the theory that the um, Legend of Zelda series is based off of a, a serious disaster involving an extremely advanced race of people. So what, they, uh... That they were incredibly advanced long ago, and they're going through, like, a repeat, you know, like, we're, we're... They're going through medieval times again. Alright, so, so... Because the whole world fucking ended, like, Fallout. And okay. shit like that. So, kind of like Horizon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you better stop that ledge below you. Okay. That makes sense. There's 129 pages in this fucking forum on this game. And where it dropped me in here was on page 128. Oh. Well, you know, like, you know, Nintendo, the couple of trolls. Yeah, that is true. Hmm. Okay, so then if, if this is showing how advanced they are. Were. Uh, were, sorry. Well, no, no, because this is showing how advanced they are and were at the same time because you have a piece of, of their technology, even though it's 100 years after all that. Uh, 10,000, I think. Uh... No, no, that's right, because somebody mentioned like 12,000. Uh, 
I've seen the number 12,000 here, here at one point. So that's probably what it was. Okay, so then... Wouldn't that put it at the very beginning of the list of games then? That's what I'm thinking because in some of the timelines there were extinct races like the Sheikah and the Gerudo. Well, they just weren't anywhere in the game at all. Like, barely mentioned. Have you came across bird people yet? Not yet. I haven't met them yet. And at the same time, they're, they're the Rito, which were in Wind Waker, and the Korok, which were also in Wind Waker. Mm-hmm. So what, do you... So, I'm thinking maybe this is... Somehow during the child line? Before Wind Waker. But then that also doesn't make sense because then how did Wind Waker happen? Because the Hyrule gets flooded. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, wasn't Hyrule flooded and was that the whole point of Wind Waker? Because it was like all ocean pretty much? Yeah. Huh. I've watched y'all play so much. But I'm so. thinking that this has to be after Ocarina of Time. I mean, I think all games from here on out are going to be after unless they want to do more prequel stories. There we go. Regional map extracted. Yeah. Hmm. Where's Butternut? I want to try to land on Butternut. Think I can do it? Uh, no. I think I'll die. Oh, wait. That's right. You got the paraglider, so yeah, definitely you could. Be sad if you didn't land on oh! it. Oh! Oh, skills! How about them apples, Ray? How about them fucking apples? I'm proud of you. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Gonna be a dick. Okay, so you're right. It was 10,000 years. Someone said 12,000, but that's not right. Alright, so... Shit, that was brutal. Can I take the apples, please? I need to give Butternut an apple. Cool. You so adorable. I love my butternut. I can't wait to ditch you for a better horse. <laughs> Did he just throw one of these little dudes at me? I was not looking, but I yeah, he not threw be one of those little dudes at me. Shit. This guy's being business. Is there? It wasn't there. Didn't I pass another one on the way up here? Yeah, there uh, he is. Yeah, as I said. Butternut, I come! Shit, shit, shit. Stop, stop. Okay, he's not bothering anybody. I'm just gonna keep going. Pretend like I always belong here, bye! So someone's theory is that it takes place in the child timeline 10,000 years ahead of Twilight Princess.
That could be a possibility. Like, according to all of the info that they've gathered from playing the game so far, they said they're 99% sure that that's what it is. That actually could be a possibility. It, judging from, from what I've seen from, from, from you and uh, Reggie playing Twilight Princess, it kind of makes sense. From everything I've seen from that and from this. You're eight full. Oh. Oh. Your weapons even. Oh, that's neat. Making sure everyone's okay. Safe people. Oh, that would be a neat concept, actually. Hmm. Someone was mentioning how uh, Nintendo could put DLC into Breath of the Wild, and make it to where you could play as like Princess Zelda before all of this happened and stuff to give some more backstory. That'd be a neat concept. Uh, yeah, that actually would be a pretty neat concept. That way they can uh, tie up some loose ends and and uh, answer some questions along the way. That'd be nice. Okay, cool. We made it to Hateno Village. But, I think I'm going to end the episode here. And, just like I said, I'm going to take uh, the next hour or so to grind. Make sure I have everything I need before I continue on. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.